It was a small farmhouse. I remember the trains would pass behind it. It would rattle the walls, and our grandmother would always turn the television up. Our sister always had a room to herself. I shared a room with our younger brother. We never used to close the curtains. You could see the sun setting over the mountains. It was hypnotic. It's what I remember and miss the most. I used to love exploring the woodland and the farmland. Just being in the trees and walking through the stream. It was an incredible space. We were really lucky to have that. Our grandmother used to call us for food by banging on a metal saucepan. We'd all race back to the house. We used to stay there often, in the summer and over Christmas. My grandparents had an old gramophone. And they used to play it in the nights and dance around the living room. Then our grandma passed away and grandpa was never the same again. It's like her light was gone from him and the house, it didn't have the same feeling as it used to. My grandma was the one who kept the house so clean and it fell into disrepair after she died. I remember the fire. Grandpa was very lonely and it was making him ill. He forgot to turn the hobs off. He was lucky. The fire was out before I took the house and killed him. It was clear that he couldn't really live there on his own. And we didn't go up there as often later on as we grew up. On the last day before the land was sold and the house was demolished, I walked through the woods for the last time. It got me thinking about how peaceful it was, and maybe how I'd taken it for granted through my youth. I watched them demolish the house, but my brothers couldn't. I needed to watch. We never said goodbye back then, because kids never do. Neither did Grandad. I think that light went out in all of us. <laughs>